weaving in your ends in knitting. Can you believe it? Like we're here. We are here. It's weaving in ends and people that knit kind of hate this part. <laughs> so that's the bad news. But the good news is like we are done. Like you have knit. You are a knitter and you can make so many cool things now. I'm super proud of you. Um, but first, we're going to have to weave in those ends. Let's get started. You will be using your yarn tail. I am switching the color so it's easier for you to see. Weave along the edge. With your tapestry needle on the wrong side, the back of your project, you will thread it through the surface loops. I'm going down one direction, at least an inch long. And for me, that's about five loops. And then coming back up the second direction, doing it exactly the same, weaving it in through those surface loops in the back of my work on the wrong side. And for extra security, let's do it a third time down these loops right here. Now the benefit to weaving in your ends in this method is that it is quite simple. However, your yarn, especially if you're using different color yarns, it can be seen in the front of your work. But here I've done it with the exact same color yarn and it really is not that noticeable. I just wanted to point it out to you. And if you're excited to be weaving in your ends at this point, go ahead, hit like, it really helps me out. weaving in your ends on the diagonal. Here's a second way that I like to weave in my ends and this way you are much less likely to see the yarn in the front of your work. Taking your tapestry needle, I like to start one toward the left side a little bit and then you are going to pick up the second one one stitch over so that you're actually doing it a little bit diagonal rather than straight down how we did the last time. Now for your third loop, go ahead and pick one up right next to that second one over to the left. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring it up through that exact same first loop. And we just repeat this. So now at the top, we pick a loop to the side of our first one and then we actually bring it down into the exact same loop there on the bottom and weave it through. I probably could stop here, but just for extra security, I'm going to do it two more times. A loop to the side and then bring it up the same loop up top. And I'm picking a loop to the side of that and taking it down into the same loop. Your woven in ends are a lot less noticeable on the front of your work using this method. Since I use this hot pink chunky yarn and I'm sort of stretching my stitches, you can see it a little bit through there. But if I had used white yarn, you definitely would not see it at all in the front of the work. Action item of the day, weave in your ends. Pick one of these two methods and give it a try. And once you've woven those ends in, just cut your yarn and it is securely in place and you are done. And it's time to check off day 14 in your knitting series planner. I'm so proud of everybody getting this far and it's been a really fun journey. There's so much more to do, to accomplish, to learn about, but you have gotten from absolutely knowing nothing, not even owning knitting needles. And now here you are, you already weaved in your ends. Like you are super cool knitting person now. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I'm geeking out. I'm super excited for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this knitting journey, and I will see you next time. There is a next time. I'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>
Bye.